to but let me go across now to well another well known cricket voice our cricket expert sunil gavaskar joins me now mr gavaskar uh, you just heard me talking to mr shrinivasan do you feel would you contradict the bcci i hear there's all that controversy about your views in the bcci but would you contradict uh, mr shrinivasan the bcci here on the whole issue of cricket fatigue yes i think you know i think it f felt a little bit strange felt a little bit strange for the simple reason you didn't f see too many people at the ground while uh, having been in england uh, because india is such a, a popular uh, uh, team uh, in england the, the grounds were all packed and uh, this ground uh, hyderabad re really wasn't packed uh, yesterday uh, probably because the deccan chargers are not uh, in the champions league the home team is not in the champions league but uh, it wasn't packed so i think that was a little bit of a strange feeling mm -hmm. plus it was a t20 game so as far as doing commentary also was concerned there was a little bit of a a little uh, uh, dif difference for the simple reason you have to you had to go off immediately as as the over was uh, finished you had to sort of get off as soon as the wicket fell uh, so all, all those things you had to take into account which is not really the case in a 50 overs game or in a test match where you can actually speak a little bit more so i think those were the adjustments that i had to make right of course and as i say you of course commenting on all three uh, different forms of the game as well but just uh, moving away a bit from the action on the field to the action off the field back in the middle of that change over at the bcci and news that uh, sourav ganguly will relieve you as well in your uh, uh, capacity as uh, chairman of the technical committee have you been told that yet i haven't actually all i know is about a week or 10 days ago i had written to the um, uh, president uh, i mean um, uh, president elect uh, mr sinivasan mm -hmm. uh, asking um, uh, that i should not be considered uh, for this uh, position uh, because i've been uh, uh, chairman of the select uh, of the technical committee for about 10 years and i was a member of the technical committee before that as well so it's been a pretty uh, long uh, innings out there and uh, as far as technical matters are concerned i think it's always better to have somebody more contemporary somebody who's just retired somebody who's uh, uh, in touch with the game in touch with the dressing room and i thought i thought uh, therefore that you know it was time for me to move on right. and uh, let uh, the younger man come in and I, and and the board has uh, uh, selected saura i hope uh, saura uh, accepts it right. because i believe he can make a huge contribution uh, uh, by uh, by taking up that uh, challenge I just spoke to Mr. Shrinivasan, as I said, about whether our players are playing too much cricket. There was the whole controversy about Harbhajan Singh uh, dropping out of the England tour, but now playing in the Champions League. What What do you feel? Even M. S. Dhoni said this publicly. What do you feel? The the, the uh, as far as the IPL and the Champions League are concerned, I think it really is uh, something with the franchises uh, decide. But uh, you know, the uh, the the BCCI has got a restriction on the number of matches that a player can play in the IPL. Uh, in the first three seasons, there were because it was a home and away situation. Uh, 14 matches were were played, and then of course uh, the knockouts, the semi-finals and the finals. And when the two teams were added, the BCCI still kept uh, the restriction that it will be only 14 matches that the player will play in the, at, at the league stage, mm -hmm. and then the knockouts that uh, you know that if in case his franchise uh, qualifies. So I I think the BCCI has taken care of the fact that the player should not be overworked in in that aspect. You know, frankly. the the t20 tournament the whether it's a champions league or the indian premier league i don't think it's too demanding right. it's just a 20 over 20 over game 40 overs uh, game 20 overs of batting and 20 overs of fielding so this is probably the least demanding form of the game you are making that point but is there a worry that if the same board is actually in charge of all these uh, various tournaments domestic ipl uh, champions league that's where the money is coming from that there will be a conflict of interest well my view is that there should be one uh, one sort of central uh, authority that decides on the on the fitness and uh, anybody who reports uh, in injured uh, for uh, uh, for india he should not be uh, picked unless he actually plays in a competitive game right, he should not be picked for india uh, if he, if if uh, if the franchise wants to pick him that's a completely different matter right but when you have the captain of the team making the point that he's tired that his team is tired who's actually listening to him and looking at it as a larger problem not just about picking one player or another well i think the captain of the team uh, you know when he when he says something uh, you know you, you have to stop and uh, give it a thought because he is the not looking at just his position he's looking at the position of his team and uh, when he he reckons that there is uh, uh, a lot of cricket being played and that the players are not getting rest then i think he's speaking from experience you know you and i we are we are outside uh, the the circle we don't we don't know exactly what kind of tiredness it is whether it's you know the uh, physical tiredness whether it is mental tiredness it can it can just be you know the enthusiasm for the game has to be there 
if the player is fresh, he's, he's enthusiastic about it, then he'll always go out and give it, give it his best because he'll then be concerned about his own performance. But if you're going to play lots of matches, then you're always going to sometimes think, you know, oh, okay, there's another match to come, there's another match in two days' time. Even if I don't score or even if I don't take wickets, I'll get another opportunity in the next uh, you know, game, which is two days later. That shouldn't happen because the player, for whichever team he's playing for, and particularly when he's playing for the country, yes. he should be out there giving his utmost. That's an important point. But as I said, I don't know who's actually listening to that point. But just to ask, we now have a new IPL commissioner as well, Rajiv Shukla. Does IPL still actually miss Lalit Modi? However much there have been attempts to kind of uh, uh, obliterate his role in IPL. Does IPL still miss Lalit Modi? <laughs> well, I think uh, every, every uh, you know, uh, when uh, there is a transition, um, whether it's, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the leader of the country or the, or the leader of a company or the, the leader of uh, uh, a league like the IPL, I think he brings his own, uh, you know, persona into it. He brings his own, uh, uh, you know, ideas into it. So we'll just have to wait and see how uh, uh, Rajiv uh, does it. Rajiv, again, is another person who's uh, over the years uh, taken keen interest in, in, in the game of cricket. And uh, despite uh, being uh, into, into uh, politics and dis despite being a minister, I'm pretty certain that he's, he will take uh, you know, a call which will make IPL uh, you know, bigger than uh, the previous editions. Right. Well, Sunil Gavaskar, thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight. NDTV's Cricket App, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.